What's going on, everyone? Welcome back into some more Anno 1800 with our expert playthrough here. Uh, been just a little while since we dug our heels into this one. I've just been super, super busy both in real life and with the new series over there, uh, Rebuilding Mines of Germany in a Beauty Build. So if you haven't seen that, I recommend checking it out. It's been pretty fun. All right, so on with this today. What? Let's see. We got several things I would like to do today. Um, I want to start getting some of this right here off of the island, I think, and start clearing things up. I think we talked about that last time. I'm thinking about coming down here to Sandisi and set up in Sandisi a uh, little settlement and get our schnapps production moved down there and get it off of this island right here. I'm thinking that's, uh, that's going to be the best move for us so we can free up room for more housing. Because uh, I definitely need a little more housing. However, I do need some more expansion. I don't have a lot of influence. This right here is 70 more influence. That's not going to leave me much left over. So I might not want to do that right now. Oh, I can't see exactly how much because I have a beer festival going on for 30 minutes. Actually, that's kind of good. That way I can move stuff off. All right, let's take a look and see. What of this stuff right here I'm producing? I've got four schnapps distilleries running at 150%. So that means I also would, I'm going to be having four potato farms running at 150% as well. Okay. Which population is this taking up? Well, it says 37, but it's not right. It's 50. So yeah, yeah, 50. So 70. 70 for each. So 70 times 4 is math that I cannot do in my head. 280. I need 280 population to make this happen. So I need 28 homes, basically, is what I'm hearing. I need 28 homes. All right, that's not too bad. Let's come over here and grab some timber. Uh, you know what? Let's put some of that timber back, and let's just grab one thing of bricks. We'll come down here. I do see a quest from Archie. An escort quest. 26k. I'm going to decline that. I got a sailor from a quest earlier. Okay. Yeah, I think this right here would be the, the best spot. There's only two things here, potatoes and grain. So let's make this our schnapps island. We're going to make this as compact as I can. All right, let's slow things down while I work on this. See, it's 18. Okay, getting there. Oh, wait, I don't need 280. I need uh, 230. I need 23 because I get fit. I'm getting 50 from the uh, labor pool. So need 23 homes. Slight math miscalculation. Oh, wait. Duh, I can't move. <laughs> I keep trying to move things, and I can't move things. Alright, let's get that there. Let's get him right there. Okay. There's 23 residents. Okay, cool. That's exactly how many I need, but let's at least try to make it look a little less bad. Ah, here we go. Um, I am going to continue using the minus 20% consumption. I'm just going to have to use that there. Let's also cover up that unhappiness right there. That's right. She hates propaganda. And I'm sitting here trying. I was so close earlier to having uh, a non-aggression pact with her. And I lost a bit of reputation before I could do it. Super sad. All right, workers... Grab us a depot here. 
Uh, yeah, let's just do the depot here. All right, get our basics set up here. Gotta have this. Got to. It's required. Can't have some crazy stuff going on. Not in my cities. Okay, so let's just go ahead and remove all of these. Lovely. Should have gotten rid of everything. Yep. And let's set that all back up over here again. I am going to put a uh, warehouse right there. And I'm going to turn off schnapps to these people. I don't want them to have schnapps. Yeah, I guess I could give it to them if I really wanted to. Guess it wouldn't be the end of the world if I gave them schnapps. Although it could be. It could be the end of the world if I gave them schnapps. Never say never. Okay, cool. Alright, so there's fish and... Oh, that's right, I, was, I kind of forgot about, you know, workers for all the other industries we've got to have. I'm sure somebody was trying to, you know, tell, yell at me in the comments. Don't forget about all the other industries you need! And I summarily forgot. That's eh, okay. Okay. Let's let this right here catch up. How much population do I currently have? 250. Plenty. Let's get that ceasefire signed again. 4K. Easy. Yeah, we'll have plenty of population here. We we'll actually have a little excess. Might be able to give them their own schnapps. Alright, let's grab ourselves a clipper. I'm going to use a clipper for this right here because we're going to need lots of schnapps. I might even be able to squeeze in our grain farms up here as well, thinking about it now. Might be able to do that too. Go ahead and get him upgraded at least once. Get us an extra. Yeah, I'm not worried about the population here. It's going to be absolutely A-OK. -okay. Cool. Cool. So that takes care of all of that. It's the last thing I want to do. What are we? Uh, what have we got over here? Our imports and exports. We're importing the goulash. Yeah, and wood. Okay. I'm thinking about importing pigs. Uh, oh, it's just this one. Yeah, it's fine. I'm thinking about importing pigs as well. Uh, just so I can get rid of the pig farms. Because, you know, of course, that is absolutely crushing my attractiveness with all the vulgarity from the pig farms. Where slaughterhouses are worse. Could just import that, nah, because I need, I need the pigs for the rendering works, too. Yeah, let's just import pigs. Um, pigs, pigs, pigs. Okay. Cool. Pigs and... Alright, let's take a look and let's slow your roll. Slow your roll, guys. Okay. How many pigs do I need? I need six pigs per minute. So that's 180 pigs over the course of 30 minutes. What am I overproducing that I could possibly export, though? Still could export some more fur coats. I do have a slight excess of that. Sewing machines is a little too close for comfort. Okay. 
Let's take a look and see what we can do about that then. Go there. Oh yeah, I can do this. This will be just fine. And so 24, 30, and 12 divided by 30, about 2.2. So I'm probably just producing enough fur coats. Probably just producing enough fur coats. Of course, things like timber, I won't even be importing a full 200. That'll fill up eventually. We've got, and the pigs will fill up eventually. Okay, cool. All right, let's get rid of all the pig farms. It's going to free up even more workers, and it's going to be absolutely lovely. Um, hops? What's what's the deal with hops here? The deal with hops is I'm not making enough hops. That That's the deal with hops. Not making enough. We can fix that real quick. Grab a load of timber. Where's that at? Down here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down here. Workforce shortage. How are you still short of workforce? There enough of us. I'm really confused here. Hold on. So we're full up. Did I, like, completely miscalculate how much... How many people I needed? Looks like I did, though. That's fine. Okay, so that should be enough right there. My, uh, my calculatory skills have failed me yet again. That's a word. I just made up that word, and it's a new word. Calculatory. God. The one tile. Seriously, game? The one tile? That's going... That, that's even going to annoy me. Hold on, I gotta fix it. Yeah, shut up. Okay, that's a little bit better. Okay, yeah, that, that, that'll be good there. Alright, your job then is going to be... I think, didn't I have a... Yeah, I have this. Let's, uh, let's get rid of that route. And let's use him to go and pick up there to there to there. So down here, we're going to pick up two things of that. We're going to go to Willowo, and we're going to pick up that. Drop everything off. Set that. Cool. Lovely. All right, cool. Ah, not good when you can't when you don't have that kind of option to rebuild stuff easily, or not rebuild, but move stuff easily. Rebuild stuff. I'm an idiot. Okay. Speaking of kind of being an idiot, it needs more hops. Because that's a thing. How many more hops did I need, actually? <laughs> we just. Oh, they're going to be so unhappy. Oh, that's enough, though. <laughs> Um, yeah, about that. <laughs> They're gonna be so mad. I mean, not even that will offset it. Oh, God. Uh, do 
I care? I mean, this is expert. We kind of have to do what we got to do. Yeah, I don't care. Let's go and... Uh, not there. We're going to come down here and build a police station and, you know, make it work, basically. Alright. Up along till this beer festival is over about seven and a half more minutes in game time. Ah, I'm just sign up with him again. Come on. Thank you. All right, cool. All of that is up and running now. Uh, let's get that. We'll get a police station build down here to help with the the inevitable riots that are going to be happening because these guys are going to be super mad. Well, that kind of helped a little bit. It's down to minus eight, so they're at least not as angry. And if I gave them schnapps, it would actually work in our favor, and it would it would be okay. So. I might divert and give them a little schnapps. I can't tell if I'm producing enough, though, until that goes away. Yeah, once this goes away, I'll see if I can divert a little bit of schnapps down there, maybe to uh, make them a, a slight bit happier. Uh, but in the meantime, let's upgrade some more of these guys. Why can't you all upgrade? Oh, school access, right. Probably want a school. Put you up there, I guess, for right now. That'll work. What a happy vision of your I have to think what's best for us. You're fine. Alright, I don't need all of those. All right, this will work. All right, let's upgrade a handful of these guys into some more artisans, get some more money coming in. Lovely. Got us another 20 influence. Good, good, good. And let's see what's all broken now. Um, Just sausages, actually. That's not bad right now. It's just the sausages. I can handle... I can handle that. We're probably still importing enough pigs. Uh, I could even just bump that to 200 for right now. Yeah, see, this is what I was kind of afraid of. Uh, we are running low on fur coats quickly. was a little afraid of that. Hmm. Yeah, see, I'm only producing an excess of one now, so that's not good. Uh, what I could do is just turn this off. Let's see what happens if I turn it off, what my income does. Of course, that gives me more than enough for coats. I might just, yeah, that's really not that bad. It's really not as bad as I thought it would be. Okay. I can I can I can handle that. I can handle that because I'm I'm getting ready to start up the um electricity around here too, so which I've got to figure out where I'm gonna put that. I'm trying to get everything as much as I can moved off the island so I can fill in with homes and get everything kind of moved around. Is this over? Okay, it's over now. Let's take a look between... I don't remember where these islands were. There, Sandisi, Willowo. Yeah, there, Camford and Sandisi. Uh, we are just producing enough schnapps. Okay, where is that trade route then? There you are. 
All right, let's make a small adjustment over here. So we're going to do something a little different with this trade route. We're going to tell him to unload schnapps and then also pick back up schnapps. So what this is going to do is this is going to tell him to drop off um, the first like 50 of it, basically, but then pick up a little bit more. Now, to make this actually work, what we want to do is come to Sandisi down here and tell this to have a minimum stock of, let's just say, um, let's see. One way, a good way to tell actually is going to check the hops. It looks like it's every four minutes. Oh, wait, no, that's, yeah. That way. Eh? But I don't have a, that, that looks like a schooner. Does it not? Oh, okay. It's because this is it. Uh, it's about every five minutes that that trade route is coming around. Yeah, this this is old. About every five minutes that trade route is coming around. So if I turn on... So Schnapps is on. If I take a look right here under my consumption. Five. So if I just set this right here to a minimum stock of ten... That's going to give me all the schnapps that they need on this island. That's actually way, that's actually more than what they need. So now he'll drop off whatever schnapps he has on board. He'll pick up everything over 10 and then continue on the route. So he's going to pick up 40 schnapps. He'll go drop off 40 and then he'll pick up 30. And then he'll take that up here and drop that 30 off up here. And that should be enough for this one right here. If we go to storage, we can take a look at schnapps about every four minutes. We need seven per minute, so 28. So yeah, it's going to be just enough. I might boost production ever so slightly. Maybe just by one more. And then that should be it. Yep, there we go. And that's going to give them schnapps. That's going to make them a little bit happier. So hopefully they don't, you know, start rebelling against me. And gives us a tiny bit more money. So good. That's how you counter it. And that's how you set up a trade route for picking up and dropping off multiple goods on the same route. So that's going to be very handy right there. plenty of that come in storage we got plenty of that in storage got plenty of that yeah all right cool so all is well there now here comes the next part i've only got two oil springs on this island and i need three to get a functioning a, a functioning oil uh, power plant and these things are so can get are, are a little costly as well to kind of get up and running but it's going to help because we'll be able to get rid of multiple things like factories and furnaces and stuff like that so we'll be able to save money in the long run of course we do have three down here This is also where I, you know, I could just push all my production off down here. Move all the production down to there. Over to the new world real quick, because we've got plenty of oil in these places. We have not unlocked Umbreros, though. Um, so that's something we also need to do, is we need to get the new world oil going and unlocked. Okay. So now my choice is... Set up oil down here and move production down there. Because I was gonna make this like my capital island, but I've decided against it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it up here at Camford. You know, it's already there, it's set up and running. The only thing is the production issue. Um These guys don't need electricity for quite a while, but I do want my production to have electricity. Um uh, the downside of moving all the production off is I do have to have more clippers which means uh, more maintenance costs and more influence spent on more clippers to transport everything back and forth. So there's kind of some upsides and downsides to it. Um, alternatively, I could get oil down here and bring it up here and drop it off. 
Uh, he is not selling an oil tanker yet. And of course, she's not in the game. I went to go look for Isabel. He's not selling any oil tankers yet. I believe he will start selling them whenever I get uh, like oil production going. So... And I and I don't even have the workforce down here for it either. Oh god! I really don't need to spend two thousand coins right now on commuter peers. Ooh, I have choices to make. I need to decide how I'm going to best go about this. Now I could increase that by fifty percent. The working conditions on the oil to fifty percent that would help. Okay, so we've got choices to make here. And I'm leaning towards boosting oil production and having a sometimes not always functioning power plant until I get everything up and running and situated. And then we can move, then I can like get everything going. Um, like how many of some of this stuff do I have? Like I've got three furnaces. I'll be able to cut that down by one furnace. I've got three furnaces working at 150%. So yeah, I'll be able to cut it down by one furnace. So that's like 100 maintenance saved. The one sewing machine factory will stay. The one cannery will stay. We'll keep the two fur dealers just because I am um, I'm using that. So we'll keep two fur dealers. That will stay. That will stay. Not making weapons. I'll be able to get rid of like two bakeries, which will be good. Um, I'll be able to get rid of like two sausages. That'll be good. Okay. I'm kind of looking to take stock of what I'm going to be able to get rid of. Uh, oh, at work clothes. I'll be able to get rid of like one work clothes. So I'll be able to save a little bit of cash. It's not going to be like a massive amount. Plus, plus the uh, cost of producing everything. Yeah, let's go ahead and get it. It's set up here. All right, refinery. Uh, oil harbor. Yeah, you're going to be a pain, aren't you? I need to shuffle things. I need to move all these fisheries away from right here because they're kind of just in the way in that spot. I need to move them down here. Hey, look, everybody's sick again. <laughs> they all keep getting sick down here. Um, yeah, I need to move all three fisheries away. So, yeah, we'll move the three fisheries away. I will get oil set up right here and we'll get a... Uh, I'll make some room for a power plant. It's probably just going to go like... In, in, Probably just going to go, like, right about here or something. Somewhere dead center-ish. Yeah, like right there, maybe. Somewhere kind of in the middle of everything. That way I can affect... I'll, a lot of rearranging the next episode. Because I'll get the oil... I'll get power going. And then we'll start pulling in a lot of industries. And moving a few things around. And reshuffling stuff to make use of our single power plant that's going to be on this island. Um... Probably have one more like over here because I'm saving this spot right here for the World's Fair, by the way. This is World's Fair territory. It's where it's going. So, yep, yeah, got plenty to do in the next episode, guys. But until then, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. It really does help out a lot. Let me know your thoughts on my plans going forward, and I will see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.